Uh, yeah, hi, this is Harish Krishna. I'm the managing director of Krishna Software Technologies. Uh, we are the official winners of EPA Scholarship Renewal Mission for Vision Tech. So, <coughs> uh, here uh, today I'm going to show you how the renewal process uh, is actually performed. So, first of all, uh, when coming to this mission, it mainly consists of five main devices. Uh, the main thing, uh, for first thing, is biometric scanner. Show the device. The biometric scanner, and then the digital pad, and then and then the printer, and then a LAN port, which is which is over here. Otherwise, you can connect through GSM module. This is GSM module. It works on GSM 2G technology. Only 2G, no 3G. So, the preferred networks are BSNL, Airtel, and the Vodafone. So, when coming to the software, it is completely equipped with the EPAS renewal software. So, which is directly con uh, connected to other servers and then EPAS servers. So, uh, I'll show you how exactly this works. So, come here. So, the first of all, when the student submits his applications online, he will get a unique ID which is also called as student ID. So, here we are entering the student ID as 2. So, it's a touchscreen. Actually, we used uh, we should use stylus here. 2. 0, 1, 3, pronounce it. 0, 5, 0, 5, 4, 9, 4, 9, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, Okay. And the course name, the other number, and the bank account number. So one should verify, one should verify it uh, from here. If at all there occurs a change, they should inform the management. So the next procedure is uh, the principal has to sign here, which is also which is not mandatory. So I'm just uh, making it as a normal procedure. We should click on the save sign and close, and then student sign, which is also not at all a mandatory, but I'm signing it and save and close. So. Whenever there is a whenever we did the sign, the it turns into green. So the main process uh, here starts. Actually, we can see the button authenticate here. When we press authenticate, uh, it directly gets the data from the it matches the data uh, students' data from the other server. So I'm clicking authenticate. So it's asking to place the finger. So the biometric scanner is just placed above the machine. So the student has to place exactly the same which I am showing you now in the right way. Right. So, it asks you to remove the finger. Yes, we we need to click the remove. Okay, right. So, it just matches with the thumb impressions which were given at the registration process. Other registration process. So, the result is success. You can see that. If at all it doesn't matches, it will say it will show the reply as the failure. So. So it is success and the renewal process has been done and we should click OK. Then we will get the print from the printer option here. So that's it. It's simple, as simple as it is and it only takes only 3 minutes of time. So this is how it works actually. So if you do have any queries, please do call us back. 888 is our number for demo. Thank you.